صباح الخير It is amazing that when we look uh, around us, everywhere in the world, and uh, to see how God is just working to reach unreached groups. Even he uses the hard persecution situation just to reveal his glory. Last week, the radical Muslims attacked two buses in Egypt and they killed many kids going to visit a monastery in the desert. And the, the good thing is the little kids did not deny their faith. Oh. They choose to die not to deny their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It is amazing. I mean, little kids, primary school, said, no, we are a Christian. What that? And uh, I, I believe that God is using that even toward people who did the attack and kill. God has own, uh, his own way. He do everything in his own way. So at the First Baptist, uh, we are trying to build a bridge connection with our spiritual cousins. Spiritual cousins is what we call Muslims. Because we consider if we are spiritual <coughs> sons of Isaac, and they are spiritual sons of Ishmael, so they are our cousins. And we building bridges with them. We have uh, the banner outside of the church and uh, six, uh, the day after tomorrow, we will have a dinner at some of our leaders, a dinner with the Islamic Center leaders. Dinner it means iftar, their meal to break their fast. It's not amazing? It's not a wonderful just uh, to, to uh, sit with them and uh, uh, I will be honest with you, I will be very open and to tell them, guys, we if you would like to tell us about what you believe, oh, we are open for that. Even if you would like to win our pastor to become a Muslim, do it. If you can do it. And at the same time, we will have the same chance. Just win. We would like to understand each other in a transparency situation. We have nothing to hide. We are proud that we are the follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. And also, we are praying every week for them during Ramadan. Not only that, but also we have a booklet if you would like to pray in a daily basis for a specific topic. Today we are going to pray for our cousins in the U.S. and in Saudi Arabia. What we are going to pray? To have, for both of them, have the desire to get Bible and to read the Bible. In Saudi Arabia, it is hard to enter the country with Bible. It is difficult. If they caught you, they take it from you. Uh, uh, many people did. But <clears throat> it is a problem. So if God create a desire for them to seek for a Bible and to begin read the Word of God, the Word of God will change them. And as we said in English and in Arabic, إحنا هنا في الفرست بابتس جاهزين عشان نجاوب أي سؤال عن الإيمان المسيحي. What I said, I said, 
We are here at First Baptist of Golden. We are ready to answer any questions to them about our Christian faith. Today, I'm going to ask Hannah to join me to pray for these two topics. Our cousins in the U.S. and Saudi Arabia to have a desire to seek the Bible and desire to read it.